Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the Intro to Built-in PHP Functions section. This is documentation. In order to understand built-in functions we've never used before, we'll want to get comfortable understanding how they are represented in the documentation. Documentation typically includes the name of the function, the versions of the PHP language the function is available in, an overview of how the function works, additional details on the parameters and return value, examples of the function in use, user comments further explaining features of the function. The description section can be confusing, so we'll break that down. Here's the description for the apps function. Apps mixed number returns number. Here we see the function name followed by parentheses. The parentheses contain information about the function's parameters. First, the parameters type followed by its name. The parameter for apps has the type mixed because there are multiple data types the function will accept an integer or a float. The parameter for apps is named number after the parentheses is a colon followed by number. This is the data type the function will return. A function that prints something but doesn't return a value will have void instead of a return type. Similarly, a function that doesn't accept parameters will have void within its parentheses. Let's look at more complicated examples. Here's a description for the substring count function. Substring count, string, haystack, string, needle, int offset is zero, int length returns int. Earlier in this lesson, we invoked substring count with only the two string parameters, haystack and needle, but functions can have optional parameters. This means they'll work with or without them. These parameters are wrapped in square brackets in the function's description. An optional parameter may have a default value. This is the value that will be used if no argument is passed into the function. The default value is indicated with an equal sign. The substring count function accepts two additional integer arguments, offset and length. Offset has a default value of zero. Take a look at the documentation and see if you can figure out what they do. Let's practice reading some function descriptions. Our instructions say, here's the description for the string pad built in function. String pad, string input, int pad length, and here are optional parameters. String pad string by default is empty. We have int pad type, string pad write, and that should return a string. In the code editor, we've provided four variables a, b, c, and d. Your task is to invoke string pad with these four variables as its argument so that it returns the string. You did it. You'll need to figure out which order to pass them in. Use echo to print the result of invoking the function. This task is designed to be a little more challenging. Check out the documentation for more information and take a look at the hint for more guidance. Note one of the arguments and its corresponding variables, a PHP type we haven't taught yet, predefined constants. You can solve this challenge without understanding them deeply. Predefined constants are similar to variables. They're names which hold values. Unlike variables, predefined constants are defined by the language, not by us. And they're constant. They can't change value. Let's look at the hint. It is a little bit more challenging and it should help us out. Let's look at this description in more detail. String pad, string input, int pad length. The optionals, string pad string is this empty default value. Int pad type is string pad write. It returns a string. The string tells us that the string pad returns a string. Now let's take a closer look at the parameters. String input, int pad length, string pad string, int pad type, string pad write. String pad has four parameters, two required and two optional. The first is a string they call input. This is our original string. The function will add padding to this string. This corresponds to our you did it string. The second parameter is an integer they call pad length. This is the length we'd like the final string to be once it has been padded. This corresponds to the integer variable we provided, 29. So let's begin writing this before going on any further. Let's do it here. The first is our original string, so that's going to be you did it. The second parameter is an integer they call path length. This is the length we'd like the final string to be once it's been padded. This corresponds to the integer variable we provided 29. Let's do that next. The third parameter is a string they call path string. This parameter has a default value of empty string. 
the string pad function will add the pad string to the input string until it's the correct length pad length if no arguments passed in the function will pad with space characters we'd like our string to be padded with these three characters which is saved in d so that should be next the final parameter is an integer they call pad type this parameter dictates the way the string is padded only on the left only on the right or on both sides. This is a bit of a strange one. The parameters types an integer. But the default value of pad type is predefined constant string pad right. The parameter must be the values 0, 1, or 2. 0 means only pad to the left, 1 means only pad to the right, and 2 means pad on both sides. To save us from having to remember which was which and prevent people from using invalid numbers, PHP comes with predefined constants string pad left, string pad right, and string pad both equal to 0, 1, and 2 respectively. These constants are available from anywhere. We want padding on both sides, so string pad should be past string pad both as its fourth parameter, and we can do that here. We should be able to run this, and we have given the string pad function all available parameters, and it should print out the way they want us to print it, which is right here. Let's go ahead and run it. And we do see we passed and we do get it to print out in that pattern. So the key thing we're learning here is more on documentation and being able to read it. We didn't even click on the actual documentation, but we're able to see how it's going to show up if we were to click there. Let's click it just to, so we can see it. We have string pad function will pad a string to a certain length with another string and it's basically what we went over right now it shows as the parameters string length pad string we should be able to go into the documentation and piece apart the different built-in functions that we have available to us being able to read this is extremely useful and after every lesson, I do recommend looking into the documentation for what you learn. If you guys are understanding how to piece apart the documentation, then you guys are getting this lesson. And I recommend practicing regularly on reading documentation. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. As long as you're understanding that, you're getting this lesson. And I'll see you in the next one.